welcome to the Langley Event Center. Steve Erickson, very pleased to bring you a couple of interviews for the 70th annual BC Boys High School Championship event. Interesting fact that a couple of teams this year that are competing in this have not taken place. Combined total of 101 years for both teams. Really, really a success for both of them to take part in this year's tournament. Behind me, you can see them courtside. Some of the teams playing. So Winston Churchill, one of the favorites playing in this year's event. And we'll see what the tournament holds for them. Howard, 70th annual tournament. Boy, oh boy, has this ever come a long way. Wow, it certainly has. And to see, you know, in this facility, talking to people today saying, we've got all four tiers here. We've got 64 teams here. We've got a facility that can hold it. What if we didn't have this Langley Event Center facility? We couldn't bring the basketball community together the way we have this week. And I think that's a terrific thing to see. You and I have seen a number of changes, especially the big and the most significant one coming from the Coliseum down here, or the Agrodome rather, down here. A lot of people were a little skeptical when we said we were going to move it down here. Successful all around. Yeah, you can't argue with it. You know, I think everybody's got a nice venue to play in. Uh, as I say, the interaction of having four different tiers here, everybody's celebrated equally. You win a big game today, you've won a big game. I don't care what tier you're playing in, it's better for the future of basketball in this province. I watched the 2A game this morning. Great game, watched Delview play from North Delta. Fun to watch them play. Now I'm here watching 4A. I love it all. You wrote in the province column earlier today about the fact that two teams are here that totals over 100 years. Yeah. Nice feeling for them to be here. It was, and we just watched one of them play Lord Tweedsmere. They had the longest drought on the books at 53 years or whatever that was. Amazing. They came in here, no jitters, and a solid game to beat West Vancouver. So great to see them back in the tournament. Who's the overall favorite going to the final? I think at the 4A right now, there's probably eight or nine teams, and I know you think that's a cop-out. I have never seen a year where you could pick so many teams, but I'll tell you, the team in blue that's warming up right now, Sir Winston Churchill, they're playing their best basketball of the year, and they are the defending champions. So I don't know if you can say they're the favorites, but I think they're one of the teams that's got a good chance to be there Saturday. I'm surprised. I figured we would have had more, like North Delta, Siakam, South Delta, yeah. where are they? Well, you know what the problem is, is when they, when they, and it's kind of what I'm writing about for tomorrow about Delview, is when the Delta School District um, went to all senior schools at every school. They used to have a bunch of junior schools all feeding into North Delta. It was a power. Now they're all separate entities. They don't have as many, you know, the student populations out there. You need more coaches when you do something like that. It reflects the situation. You're making it tougher on your schools. And that's why it's a great accomplishment, I think, for Delview to get here, for Siakam to have gotten here a couple of years ago great accomplishments. It's not easy to get one of these tickets to the big dance. No, not at all. You talk yeah. about the coaches. The coaches really got the boys motivated, but but that says it all. Starting with the coaches, they got a great program regardless of school. They do a great job. They do. And they're an exciting brand of basketball to watch, so really need to see their coach, Vlad Dikic, really putting in the, the hard sweat equity hours getting his team here. That was the first win Delview's ever had in the Senior Varsity Provincials on the championship side of the draw. So it was a meaningful victory for Delview today. So we'll see what happens. Happens, yeah. All right, thanks, Howie. Good job in the province. Hey, thanks enjoy so much. Reading all the calls. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks, Howie. Thanks so much.